Good morning to all those tuning in. This is the Web Lemon, and today we're back to playing Axel Disc 1. So, last we left off, we, what, finished up the pyramid? Um, and now, oh, we also went around collecting a few other stuff, like little secrets and memories and stuff. Um, and now I believe we get to head uh, to the cliffs. So let's get right into it. Um, I do remember that they said they were not in the way anymore. I don't know why I'm dodging. Oh. Some of them I have to dodge due to them being a physical barrier. But then, others, I don't have to. Oh. Well, that was kind of weak. Um, yeah, I find that drain is a very useful skill. The only problem I have is that if I'm not doing a ton of damage, I'm not doing a ton of healing. Which kind of makes it useless. Kind of. What the fuck? Um, Cyclone. Ah, uh, I don't think I need to do... Oh, maybe I do need to do multiple AOEs. Yeah, you know what? I'm changing my mind. I need to do multiple AOEs. Also, yes, I do know that... Um, I'm not my, um, ah, uh, fuck, what do you call it? Uh, yeah. I do, I do know that, um, actually, let's leave the cave first. Oh, never mind. Um, I do know that, uh, my loadout and everything is not particularly efficient. If you ask me, water is watery. It doesn't necessarily need to be, you know? It just needs to get the job done. Something about that makes me kind of nervous. What is it? Well, it doesn't look like there's any way back. Surely we'll find an exit as we traverse deeper into this cave. Alright, maybe you're right. Uh, we're definitely trapped. Wait, is this liquid? It's actually just water. Well, mostly water. It looks like a lot of dust from the cave has dissolved into the water, making it look like this. Huh. Well, we're stuck here. I considered making a boat of some kind, but my objects are always really dense. I don't think I can make something that can float with all three of us. Damn, I was just about to ask that. If I can make something with the density of ice, we'd be in a good position. But it doesn't look like I can manipulate that. Ice, eh? Ice does flow. Well, yeah, since it's frozen water. The molecules are spread out, which makes the liquid displace it. Um... I'm not sure that's the reason why, but... I don't know. Uh... 
That's also why it's easier to make ice using magic than liquid water. Okay, look, there's like 17 different types of ice. Um, and the ice that we know is type, what? what is it, type 15 or something like that? Um, so, yeah, it's a lot more complicated. I don't need a science explanation, I just have to figure out how to actually use that info. Hmm. Lady Ali, thou art... Cool, right? Oh, we learned skip. Oh. I wonder if that's gonna be... Useful. Oh, okay. So we can walk on water. There's a strange storybook on the ground. There once was a dungeon that expanded twofold day by day. What secrets would be found? By the ever four dungeon man. Mysterious map. Uh, it should be in this, right? Is it in this? Summon Cain. Huh. Cool. I do actually wonder if we can be attacked while we're on the water. But it's actually kind of cool that we even know it to begin with. I'm not sure how it works though. And it would be nice if an explanation was had for it. Other than the ice? Because everything else feels like it was pretty well explained. So, for example, being able to push stuff with magic makes sense. Because, um, Sai has been really unable to do anything physical. So to compensate that with a uh, magical ability, Actually, it really makes sense, you know? And then... What does Amira do again? Um... I'm trying to think, what does she do? Cause I'm pretty sure she does something else, but I'm not exactly sure what. Jesus Christ, how much health do these guys have? It's a fate. Ah, it's, that's lava. Wave jelly, ice stag, wave jelly. Oh, how about... Yeah, why not? Let's see if we can collect some... Oh, hey, we learned wave. Why is it doing a lot of damage to 
Amaya. Yeah, do that. And then Cyclone and Buck. Of some energy. Jesus. Is her defense really that low? Like, I suppose I haven't been investing too much into it. But, like, I didn't expect it to be that low, you know? What the fuck are these? I really need this, um, synthesize. Um... My attacks more? Or I should say just in general? Every turn? Oh, I got a light shield. Um, is that in here or clothing? Um, I should be selling some of these. Um, anything I really have doubles up? As I really just don't need it. Oh, light shield. Ten percent defense. Oh, it's literally a light shield. Yes, that does make me feel dumb. Oh, wait, is that cheese day? Honestly, I couldn't imagine myself grinding until everyone in my party has like 500 health or at least even if one person had that that's just insane to me wait does is there anyone that actually does that i respect them if they do but god why would you torture yourself Okay. Oh, that looks like a town. A squiggler. Interesting. Please stop attacking Ollie. Oh, sorry, not Ollie. Keep attacking Ollie. Just don't attack Sai. Holy shit! Oh, it is a town. Kinda. These pumps create power for the city. Oh, I wonder if it's geothermal. Cause that would be super cool. It's a community cabinet full of shared food. Oh, that's cool. A truck that can carry a lot of passengers. Oh! It's the bus. It's a well-loved chair. Another pump. Bunch of broken TVs stacked on top of one each other. They're better at places to find items than in trash cans. Actually, with um, broken down stuff, 
um, they could be putting it around their borders and it would actually allow them to have a more defensible position against the um, ah what do they call them again the agency insists that we can't function without them to protect us the lack of faith in humanity only creates the adversity they preach a tidy pen washing machine someone's lunch in here a lot of our homes have been built from junk we've scavenged it may not look pretty, but it's cheaper and better for the environment to make use of waste around us. Yeah, that is fair. It's a makeshift flag proudly displayed. It's a pleasant old-fashioned fan. Someone's tent. An abandoned sculpture. Was it a robot? Tie on the sand. Some sort of automation made of scrap metal. This little guy doesn't move much yet, but considering I made him out of tin cans, I think I did pretty good. I think I would agree. Homeless? No, I choose to live here. Um, yeah, sure. Hey, they actually have mountains. Or like, something around them to allow them to have. Basically, one way in, one way out. Ah, uh, have you met King? He's a great guy, really done a lot for this city. Bookshelf filled with philosophy and classic li literature. We aren't all hippies, you know. Everyone has their reasons for living here. Oh, that's King. I have a wind gem, a trade in exchange for fire gem. Sure. Thank you, my friend. Ice gem, sure. Stone gem, sure. Oh! Unstable, have a good one. Hey, he's pretty nice. Surprisingly, the faucet works. We aren't all hippies. Town uh, seems to be savage, savaged, which is empty. Ah, that's really cool, you know? Someone spray paint a heart on this wall. The Cliffs of Fate is a bit of a tourist destination. A lot of people come here for pilgrimages, for religious or personal reason. Uh, but I bet that's why you're here too. Yeah, technically. Electrician! Oh yeah, we have plenty of electricity here. It's a bit off the grid, but we have a pretty high-end generator. We opt for oil lamps and things like that so we can use our energy to power innovative inventions instead. Ah, oh, the colors of fate uh, is a little cynical, but it does help our community thrive. A lot of people stumble upon us and decide they want to stay here. That's awesome. I think I actually really like little groups like this. Welcome to the state slate city. This is living proof that we don't need the agency to be happy. Hell yeah, dude. You gotta have the courage to use that spring and jump. Uh, my tent's a little small, sorry. Uh, we originally set up these TVs as a makeshift traffic light. It's kind of cool. I don't know, punk aesthetic? But when we thought about it, and screw that, what could our rules anyways? I mean, rules tend to keep people safe? Some sort of food truck, looks like someone lives here too. Damn, everyone here is broke. Hey, hey, you wanna buy something though, right? Hey, it's Garrett! I fucking love this guy. He still needs more stock though. I, no. I know it's... 
a lot. It's a slide. Chris, did I manage to get it all the way up here? Makes you flying. I think that's actually it for this place. So, I will say, welcome to Dewey's Campus Service. Just check into my bus sign to your left and I'll drive you wherever you need to go. Oh, that's cool. Um, I will say, it would be kind of neat if you did have to pay a small price for it. Especially as... Um, the theme would actually fit quite well, if you ask me. Because the town is kind of low end and could use all the money it could get. just me, but hey, whatever. Oh, shit. Um. Anything? I don't mind running. I have like 20,000 quill. Odd shroom. Tell me about it. Fire and poison resists earth. Vine slicer, toxic, poison, decay. Acid rain, fly trap, finish. I'm actually gonna go back to town quickly, just to you. I was actually really hoping to learn something, you know? But that's how it is sometimes. Um, oh yeah, it's up here. Yeah, let's save our process. I can't believe I've been playing this for 13 hours. Don't get me wrong, it's a great game. But it definitely is long. Um, I'll come back to that in a second. Yeah, I guess... You know what, fuck it, let's check it out. If it appears to be locked. No. That's a shame. I really wanted to check it out. Well, if we need to not go to the clock tower, at least we know where it ends. Um, Cliff Bowman. of HP, weak to wind, I don't know what that is, but it's then lifesteal, don't know, don't know, um, don't use earth, essentially, Ah, 
You know, Wally, I've been meaning to ask. Hmm, what is it? Well, why are you so eager to learn about doing anyways? I mean, if you were in my shoes, wouldn't you want to know? Hmm, I guess I would. It might make more sense if I told you how I ended up with Dylan. I thought Dylan hath been bound to thee since before thou can remember. Well, yeah, but Josh remembers. He told me the whole story when I was a kid. Let's go. I'll tell you the story along the way. Can I collect some of these crystals? Or... Uh... Fuck. I don't feel like dealing with that. Oh, I was one block away. You see, I was actually born in Astral Point. I guess when I was a baby, the agency excavated Dillon. And then one night, there was a power outage. And when my parents went to check on me, there was Dillon, sitting in my arms. Kinda cool, actually. When the agency found out I had Dillon, they tried to separate it from me. Thing is, you guys already know that Dylan doesn't like being far from me. After a few hours, Dylan went completely nuts and even blasted a hole through Astral Point. So the agency exam um wait what? Experimented oh experimented on me instead. I wish I could protest, but I am starting to believe the agency is truly as bad as Lady Ollie doth say. Um, hook. Yeah, the agency kind of seems shitty. But like, I mean, a lot of times you're gonna get government agencies doing shitty things to... Because they're just doing their best. But that doesn't excuse the shitty behavior, you know? You just have to understand that if that's the reason, then maybe the people aren't bad, just the policies. In all of the chaos though, Josh's ex-wife, Sydney, was able to pull some strings and Josh was able to take me away. He's been taking care of me ever since. I was too young to remember my parents, so Josh is kind of the only family I have. I hope they don't mind me calling him dad. I'm sure they don't. All things considered, I mean, it does seem like they don't really have a choice, but sure that they would understand you calling someone else dad? Okay, high heel. form or whatever it's called um it's actually really cool but that's why i need to find out why Dylan chose me i need to know why it's so important oh what's so important about this stupid sword that the agency was so willing to kill my mom and i need to know why i'm so special that the sword won't let me go waiting so long for this day but the truth is part of me still thinks the real answers 
I want a waiting for me in Astral Point. It doesn't matter though, just a little longer and I'll finally know the truth. Sometimes shitty things happen to good people, you know? I wonder if that's gonna actually last um, for four turns now instead of just um, three. Or I wonder how her C actually plays into effect. But that's, I guess, just a personal thing. Holy shit, can you not attack my one guy? I need not to be attacked. Also, why does it have a... Um, extra space? Like, we could have a fourth person in the party. That, I do find a little weird. But I wonder if there's going to be a... Like, an extra addition? As that would actually be really cool. on attacking an opponent if you kill someone that I did not know another thing I didn't realize is how low Sai is I wonder if my heal didn't go up Cyclone, Battle Yark. Oh no, I think it actually did. It's just that... Um... His health is just so low. Item... Um, Bua... Cola... Oh, come on. E oh, they're called eaters. Uh, uh, da -da. Oh, it's a turtle! Oh, I'm gonna feel bad killing it now. But it kind of has to be done, you know? Wow, I did all 500. Um... Five thousand? Fuck me, I guess. She can be a long fight. Um. I don't know what the best method is. 
But I guess what I'm doing might be the best I can do. Battery pull. Not as much um, damage as I would like, but you know, I don't actually think I mind in this case. I'm gonna have you hold again. This guy's actually kind of scary, if you ask me. Um, use your edge driver. Energy ball, riot. Holy shit! Has this guy really attacked us, like, at all? Because I really don't think so. This guy is actually kind of tedious to fight. Because he doesn't... He's not a high threat. might be the most annoying part, you know? I'm actually gonna get her to hold for um, another turn. do more in, uh, damage than Ollie will. Um, actually, even better, I choose um, that on her, and any tree ball there, and a battery pull. Because now she should do 211, yeah. Are you willing to run out an MP in a battle? When maybe I should be using it a little more sparingly? Oh, trigger happy. Yeah, I realized she got a slice and dice, which I got last time but didn't show off. Um, 
it's essentially a um, uh, wind slice. No, not wind slicer. Um, fuck. Um, is it? I thought I had a move that does damage to myself. Um, well, I might. I just don't have it anymore. Um, Ricochet is actually kind of awesome. Rapid fire, three shots at the enemy. Reduce MP cost to zero this time. Oh. That would allow me to lose, use something like battery pull. With L. Much worry. Or like. Ah, slice and dice takes 63 HP. Um, and one. Oh, when slicer does take HP, it's 10. Um, yeah, that's almost way too good to use. Not use. Um, I'm actually gonna switch it out with this. Cause then I could use battery pull without much issue. Um, Riot Blade takes a lot too, but I think I want to use it for battery pull. Um, Rapid Fire would be a good option too. If I was going into the gun uh, aspect. And here we go. Top of the mountain. Is this the place? Yeah. This is the peak of the cliffs. The book said uh, this is where Doom comes from. Doesn't really seem like anything special as of now. What now, then? I don't know. I kept telling myself, you know, You'll know when you get there. You know when you'll get there. You know when you're supposed to do. You know what you're supposed to say. You'll know what you're supposed to tell Sai and Amaya. That's a nice fucking view though. It's a long trip. You have plenty of time to come up with something. I wasn't even really sure what I was supposed to do when I get the answer about doing when I got here. Part of me hoped that maybe it would just say something on its own. For chance, we simply do not know what uh, we are supposed to do. This uh, not like the to lose faith so quickly. You're telling me not to give up, Sai. Who are you and what have you done with my friend? <laughs> Ollie, are you? Haha, <laughs> no, I. I'm not. Before we give up and go back home, have you considered asking Dylan? Well, it's worth a shot. Dylan, are you listening? Lady Ollie, I. Shh, I get it now. Don't shush, Sai. Don't be a dick. I know why Dylan chose me. Dylan is just a parasite. <laughs> Dylan needs a master. That's what the legend always says, right? I must have just been in the right place at the right time. Dylan isn't sentient. It can't talk. It doesn't have feelings. Dylan isn't even alive. Dylan's just. Jen's just some dumb son that latched onto a baby because it isn't even capable of knowing how much pain it would bring to her. So we went all this way for nothing? I didn't say nothing, did I? Dylan chose me because it needed to, that's the reason. And now that I am, I know that, I'm free. I don't have to live the rest of my life thinking. I have some great, greater purpose in this world and not knowing what it is. I'm just an ordinary girl who had an unlucky day once 
That's why we came all this way. Then what now? If Doom didn't choose me to fulfill some grand cosmetic scheme, it means I can use its power for whatever I want. And I want to help my friends. Help us with what? I've learned everything I ever uh, wanted to know about myself on this trip. Now that it's now it's your turn to go to Astral Point. How will we get past the defenses? Oh, come on, Sai. We're all a million times stronger than we were the last time we tried going there, aren't we? Y yes but... Ah, no, I'm done fleeing from them. Lady Ollie. Lady Amara, let's, let us go to Astral Point. Ah, now we're talking. Let us head back to my place to get a plan ready. Father, am I gonna see thee? Pray, when the time comes, listen to what I sh shall ask of thee. This is it. It ends tonight. Should we head back? Yeah. Um... They're chatting about the guy still... I'm actually really happy that I got that skill, to be honest. Oh! Welcome back! Ah, uh, can we talk? What's up? You're going to Astral Point, aren't you? How did he know? What? Well, what? Of course not. I'm not dumb. Obviously you went to the cliffs. You came back and you didn't immediately start rambling about your purpose or whatever. You were dissatisfied with your trip. So you decided to go to Astral Point since that's the second most obvious place to get answers. Okay, fine, you're right, but it isn't for my sake. The answers I found at the cliff aren't super exciting, so you're right. I don't have much to tell you. Even if I did, you wouldn't get it. But Sai and Amira, they still have questions that deserve to be answered. They helped me get this far, so now I'm returning the favor. Ah, uh, Dad isn't gonna like this. Dad is never going to find out. It's a maximum security facility. One that still needs foods and supplies to live in. Is that thy plan? That's what I came up with on our way back. Plan A. I guess it could be worse. So how are you gonna go uh, taking advantage of this alleged hole in security? Didn't think that through, huh? It's a work in progress. Maybe double knows. Hey, good idea. Well, that'll kill me if he finds out that I'll help you guys with this. So, I'm out. From now on, you guys are gonna have to figure it out on your own. He hasn't been that helpful. If you ever change your mind and need me to bail you out, I'll still do that. Unless you actually get into Astro Point. Gee, thanks. I'm going to my room now. Later. Uh, that was awkward. Well, let's talk to Doppel. Ah, uh, a bunch of important papers. Um, absorbing with collect. Ah, uh, see, so has something to do with the crazy mode we saw. I'm not some. Okay. Ah. <sighs> So, that was actually pretty good. I liked uh, going up to um, the Cliffs of Fame. Though, I guess there is a reason for it, granted. It's supposed to be kind of a letdown. But, um, yeah. I guess I was just hoping for more. Um... Uh, there is a clock tower, but unfortunately it's locked, so I don't know, um, what to do there yet, but I'm gonna figure it out, 
because I do actually want to get in there and check it out. Um, there's also a few items I can't get at. Um, yeah. Oh, she does springboard. Fucking dip. Never mind. Um, doesn't really matter now. But, um, anyways. Uh, next time, we're gonna be, um, I wanna do some stuff, go around and try and either collect stuff or... Like, that one, uh, Ida at the top of the hotel. I want to take that on. But, other than that... Um, I don't know if there's much for me to do. But, um, I guess that's for me to figure out until next time. So, thank you for tuning into The Frequency. This is The Rebel Lemon, signing off. So, good night and sweet nightmares.